Today I want to take a look at SharePoint Migration Tool, SPMT, and how we can move the temp folder to a different drive letter. Here we have the admin command prompt, which I started running as an admin. And we're going to do a cd, change directory command, to go ahead and switch over to the current user's app data roaming Microsoft folder. Inside of there we have a command called mklink. Now if you've never used mklink before, we'll open it up with a question mark to see the usage, and it creates a symbolic link, either for a file or folder. We're going to use slash d, which is to create a directory symbolic link. And we're going to point this at the D drive. Now the folder that SharePoint Migration Tool is writing to is called Migration Tool Storage. And if we go ahead and look at the path, we do have that in the current folder, Migration Tool Storage. Okay, cool. So in the event that you already have a folder there, you may want to move it to a letter. Here I have a D drive that's empty, and I have Migration Tool Storage. I'm going to hit Start, and we can see the folder, Migration Tool Storage. I'm going to move that over to letter D. So I'm manually moving the folder, and now I'm ready to run the Symbolic Link command. The Symbolic Link command will create a pointer. It says, Symbolic Link created for Migration Tool Storage to D Migration Tool Storage with a double arrow in the middle. Looking at my folder window, we see an icon with a kind of arrow on top of the folder. And if we right click properties, what we're gonna notice is that it has a target location. And over here, we have the folder as a target location. Now it's kind of interesting stuff because you know, as far as the applications know, it's a normal folder. So if I do new text document, and go ahead and create one called hello and go look at my D drive, there it is. There's a folder called hello on the D drive, but yet applications can write to it in the original C user profile location. So you don't have to tell the application anything. You point the directory with a symbolic link and again to recap the steps, we manually move the folder over so that it does not exist in the source we run the mklink slash d command to create the pointer. And now we have sort of this virtual folder with a special icon. Not a real folder, it's pointing to the other location. And now we're ready to run SharePoint Migration Tool and put as much data on that drive as we'd like. Thanks for watching.